The purpose of this video is to walk you through what's new in DayTrader 5 and provide a quick reference guide to show you some small changes from DayTrader 4 regarding the user interface. By the end of this video, you'll be comfortable navigating DayTrader version 5 and you will be able to set up DayTrader 5 by following the steps described in the um, DayTrader manual on how to set up DayTrader 4 as only small changes to the user interface have been made. Uh, please don't hesitate to contact us at support at jigsawtrading.com if you have any questions. The support team will be happy to answer. In this video, I will also show you how to license the software, connect to a data feed, customize window sizes and button layouts, the new hamburger and exit icons, identify the updated icons and give you a quick run through of all the new features. You will download and install the program like any other software. Uh, if you are a new user, you should have received the links to download on the welcome email. When we click on the desktop icon, the trade will open and you will only see three icons. To get the rest of the tools, uh, you will need to enter your lifetime license. In order to do that, you go to the three dot icon, we click on it, we go to file, we go to licensing, and the license window will open. We now have to enter our lifetime license, that in my case is this one, and click on activate. And you will get the rest of the tools. If you have a live trade and license, you can also apply it here and then click on activate. Next thing we do is to enter our Jigsaw username and password to connect uh, day trader software into Journalytics or automated trading journal app. We do this by going to the three dot icon again, we go to file, we go to options and we enter our Jigsaw username that in my case is Gonzalo and the password and we click OK. These credentials are the ones you uh, created when you register your software. We click OK and now uh, we are connected. Next thing we do is uh, connect Day Trader to a data feed. If you don't have a data feed, don't worry. You can request a demo uh, on the first page page of the Day Trader manual. You have uh, five op options to choose from. Click on the links and follow these steps. Uh, data feed username and password will be emailed to you. The next step is to connect Day Trader into the data feed. Depending on the data feed you choose. Uh, CQG, uh, TradeAbate, etc. You will have to choose which data feed you will connect to. Uh, to get to the connection manager, we can click on this icon. We can go to our left to click on the arrow or we can click on this uh, button here. We'll click on add new connection. And as I said, I'll choose CQG. This window will open and I will enter my username and password. And I will set my server to demo. If you have a live account, the server is live. I will name my connection. A CQG demo, this is any name you want. And I will click OK. Now we have our connection. We, we click, um, we double click on it to connect. Now we are connected. And now we need to download our instruments. We click on this icon. We go to download instruments. 
In my case, I will only download the CME instruments. You will need to download uh, the instruments uh, for from the exchange um, you want to trade. For example, if you trade Eurix uh, instruments, you will need to download the Eurix um, instruments. So I will click on CME and click on download and the instruments will now uh, download. Okay, the instrument uh, download is completed. We click close, close these windows also. We go to the main menu and then we are ready to open our tools to trade. As you can see, we made uh, some changes in the user interface that now is more modern and flexible. You can now resize the app um, to fit your needs and also move um, the buttons by clicking and dragging on them. Let me show you. We also added a couple of new buttons, but first let's take a look at each icon alongside DayTrader 4 so you can see the difference. We have the connection manager, orders and positions uh, window, strategy manager, alert uh, window, session manager, the depths and sales, Reconstructed tape, charts, summary tape, gauge, journal analytics, Discord chat, real time news, and economic releases widgets. As I showed you previously, here we have the file tools help uh, menus. Then we have the hamburger menu. When you click on it, it will minimize the main menu to the size of a desktop icon. So you can save screen space and you double click on it to bring the platform back. The exit icon next to the hamburger icon. Um, as the name says, if you click on it, it will close the application. We also have brand new icons on the depths and sales. If you hover over them, you will be able to uh, see what each of them does. Let's take a look at each icon alongside the trader for depths and sales. We got the center, clear total trades, clear total trades up, clear total trades down, clear current trades, Clear current trades up and current trades down. You have the clear delta price. This icon will change on the final release. Clear alert, clear volume profile, strength meters, settings, trading settings, open chart window, action vista chart. These two icons will also change. Uh, for the final release and the open uh, the search window and enable a disable placing orders. Let me quickly show you the new DayTrader 5 features starting with the order position and trade markers on the chart and action vista. We can now see our open position, pending orders, and trade markers on the chart. Open a chart and make sure the show trade markers, show trade markers is checked and show fill order lines is also checked and you have your account number uh, here. You will see all your trading activity on the chart 
and action vista. Let's talk about the automated levels feature. This new feature will show you important levels on your depths and cells without uh, the need to look for them manually, saving a lot of time. We go to settings, load data levels, and you can load several levels like previous day high, previous day low, overnight high, overnight low, previous day value area high, very low, previous day point of control, and yesterday close. The levels will appear on the alert column automatically. The last feature I wanted to talk about is the yesterday's volume profile column. This is a new column that will show you the volume profile from the previous trading day. To activate it, you go to settings, parameters, and click on yesterday volume profile column. New column will appear showing the previous day volume profile. Thank you for watching and remember that if you have any questions, please, please, please um, email us at support at jigsawtrading.com. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon.